first thing that we're gonna do is disconnect the shock from the trailing arm. Once we've removed the nut, pick up on the trailing arm and then remove the bolt. Then push down on the trailing arm and slide your shock out of the way. Then we're gonna remove all of the clutch cover bolts. Then before you remove the clutch cover, go ahead and disconnect the vent tube by loosening the clamp. And just grab a hold of the tube. Pull it straight off. Sit it up out of the way. Then remove the cover and we'll set this aside as well. Then we're gonna remove our bolt out of the primary. Then we're gonna grab our primary clutch puller tool, which can be purchased at superatv.com. Then we're just gonna tighten it until it pops the clutch off of the motor. If you don't have a 27 millimeter socket, you can always use the provided bar that comes with the clutch puller. We're gonna go ahead and remove our removal tool. Then we're gonna grab a hold of the primary. Slide it off. I'm going to slide it right past the belt just like that. And for this clutch kit today, we're only going to be removing the primary clutch. So now that we're over here at the bench, we're going to grab our clutch compressor tool, which can also be purchased from superatv.com. We're going to slide it down on just like that so that the spider side is facing up. We're going to take this portion of the tool, put it on there just like that. And we're going to take our nut and thread it all the way down. Then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the tension off the clutch here, just like that. Once we have it compressed down just a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and remove all the 10 millimeter bolts. Then we're gonna go ahead and relieve the tension So then we're gonna go ahead and remove our tool. And before you remove anything, you wanna make sure that everything stays completely lined up like it was. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mark this portion of the clutch to this portion here. Just gonna put a little line, a little line here, a little line here. That way we know that's exactly how it needs to go back together. We'll go ahead and remove this just like that. Make sure you don't lose anything. Make sure you keep everything together. So depending on what clutch kit you have, this is gonna be the point to where you would change the spring out. Or in our case, we're running the general performance for a 2016 turbo. All we're gonna be doing today is changing the weights. So if you did have a spring, you would take your factory spring, discard it. Take the new spring, install it the same way, make sure that you use the retainer here. So we're gonna go ahead and go through and we're gonna remove each of these arms from the clutch. Just remove the bolts. Sometimes they may get stuck. This clutch here has a lot of belt dust in it, which we're gonna need to blow out. If it does get stuck, what you wanna do is just take a screwdriver, a flathead, and just kind of work it out. And also you can take a punch. And since we're not gonna be reusing, reusing these bolts, you can just hit the punch right here on the threads and knock it straight out. So we'll remove our bolt. We're gonna reach in here. And remove our arms. We we'll just take them out through the inside. There we go. There's our arm. You can see it's got a lot of excessive wear right here on the top where it's riding on the roller. Another thing is you just want to reach up inside the clutch, 
feel the roller just to make sure it's still rolling freely, make sure there's not a bunch of buildup or debris on it. Ours feels pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the rest of the arms the same exact way. So now that we have all the arms removed from the clutch, we're gonna go through and blow it out. Whenever you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're wearing safety glasses. Once you've got your clutch good and blown out, you wanna go through and you wanna feel the sheaths on the front and back side. And you wanna make sure there's no excessive wear, there's no grooving or anything like that. If there is, this is gonna cause some issues. It's gonna overheat the belt and could potentially cause the belt to break on you prematurely. So if you do have grooves, you'll need to get online and purchase a new primary clutch assembly. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our arms and weights. They're already set up and ready to go from Super ATV. And we're gonna make sure that the top portion where it's gonna ride on the roller is facing straight up like this. And then we're just gonna reach through the tower, slide it right into the groove where we just removed the factory ones. Then we're gonna get in a hardware kit and grab the bolts out. We're gonna go ahead and get those installed. Make sure it lines up with the arm. You may have to wiggle it around a little bit as you push it through. Then we're gonna grab the provided nylock nut, thread it on. So now that we have one of our arms installed, I'm gonna show you how tight you need to tighten these down. This is a super crucial part of the installation. If you over tighten these and it pinches the tower down, it's gonna cause the arm not to move freely and that means the clutch isn't gonna work the way that it should. So we're just gonna go through. And I wouldn't even really consider this tightening. It's almost just snugging the bolt down. It's nylock, so it's not gonna back off on you or do anything silly like that. See right here, it's starting to get tight. And it's not real tight, but it's just giving me some resistance. I'm just gonna go just a quarter turn more. Pull my socket out of here. And I'm gonna grab my arm. This arm should move completely freely. There should be no resistance. You should be able to take your Allen wrench and move the bolt just a little bit. But as long as this arm pivots freely on the shoulder bolt, that's plenty tight. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna repeat all these steps for the rest of the arms, and then we're gonna reinstall our spring and get our clutch back installed on the machine. Be sure that everything's torqued to the factory spec, and now we're ready to get our primary clutch reinstalled on the machine. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna loop it right over top of our belt just like this, let it get up on the sheath. And we're just gonna put it onto the shaft of the motor. Make sure it goes back as far as you can get it by hand. Wiggle it a little bit, spin it. Shake it around, looks like it's on there good. So we're gonna take our primary clutch bolt. Then we're gonna go ahead and tighten it to the factory spec. Now all we have to do is reinstall our shock and our clutch cover, go through, make sure everything's fully tightened, and that's how super quick and easy it is to install Super ATV's Rev1 clutch kit on this Flaris Razor Turbo. For more information on this clutch kit or any of Super ATV's great products, feel free to give us a call at 855-743-3427 or check us out online at superatv.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.